Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to Stags to Riches here on Football Manager 2022. Now, this would be the part where I'd go through transfers, history, all that good stuff. However, I'm actually going to do a quick intro this week um, for a few reasons. One is the fact that this is actually the second attempt I have had of recording uh, some kind of cup final in the last couple of weeks. You might remember I put up a community post a few days ago saying I wasn't feeling very well. I actually uh, started feeling unwell during the recording of that last attempt. So that video will never see the light of day. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. But there are a few things I wanted to talk about before we get started. First of all, we finished sixth in the league. Um, so this was originally meant to be a triple header. We were going to win the league. We were going to win the Premier Division Cup. And then we were going to win the Gladwish Challenge Trophy. Didn't win the league. I still finished the match in the Premier Division Cup final. We didn't win that either. We lost 4-1. We are going for one for three, though, today. We're playing Biggleswade United, I think it is, in the Gladwish Challenge Trophy final. It's away from home. It's at the Carlsberg Stadium. Um, I'm nervous because, you know, this is a big match. It would be nice to win it. We've also got some, uh, some farewells to say after this match, including Adam Walker, who is retiring at the end of this season. I tried to get him to stay on for one more year. Because he's still got stuff to give. I feel. But he is 36. Um, and you know he's had a great career with us. Uh, he's been with us for three seasons. And he's played. What's that? Uh, 85 games. Yeah 85 games. Scored seven goals. So his goals to games isn't great. But that's not what he was brought in for. He was brought in as a ball winner. And by God did he turn our fortunes around. This season is actually his best season for us. 30 games, 5 goals, 3 assists, 3 man of the match awards and an average rating of 7.15. We're going to miss him a lot. Um, hopefully we'll be able to replace him, but we are going to miss him a lot. Let's go and talk about the squad. So this is the lineup I'm thinking we're going to play today. I think it's going to be Magic Goal. Back four of Brandon Lee, Ronnie Turham, Will Brown and Mark Thuo. Thuo. You, you, I don't think you've met. I did a full intro for him last time out. I'm not going to bother this time. Midfield duo of Max Wilcox and Alex Prosser. Again, I think you've met Prosser before. Wilcox is new. Chased him for a while. Finally signed him. Again, did a full bio on him before. Not doing it again. Alfie Cerulli, Donald Green and Zane Maxwell as the advanced midfield. And then Harry Draper up front. Bench is Kenny Del Piccolo, Ruben Mason, Ethan Lack, who's also new, Nathan Morley, and Tom Davidson. I'm actually really tempted to swap Morley with Lee. But I might just leave it as is. Let's go do that. There we go. Right. I think we're ready. I don't think there's anyone else that I could bring into this squad that would make us better. This guy here, Lewis Simper, he's new as well. Brought him in to play winger. He's an inverted winger. Plays on the right, but he's left-footed. I actually played him in the last game, and he did atrociously bad. So I'm going to give him a pre-season... Um, to get up to speed. We've also got some players back from injury now, including Davidson. Uh, Mesoaudi is back from injury now as well. And for most of these... Actually, not for most of these players at all. What am I talking about? For a couple of these players, it might be their last game for the club. So we're going to see if they go out with a bang. But for now, let's actually go into the game. It's a full 90-minute match. So uh, here we go. Also, stream music. There we go. Stream music. There we go. Helps if you actually unmute it. Uh, which I think is on the right audio track. Yes. Hopefully it's audible. If it's not, I because I'm not going to talk too much in this. I'm just going to kind of watch the game with you guys. Occasionally comment on little bits and pieces here and there. But for the most part, it is going to be just us watching the game together and enjoying ourselves. I have got the headset back on again now. The audio thing that I had before seems to have fixed itself. I believe the match plan, uh, match plan, sorry, is currently turned off. I will check that, and I believe we are also on currently on full match. And again, I will quickly check that um, just as the game kicks off. So that is off, perfect. And up here, uh, oh yeah, I switched it to extended last time out. So yeah, now we're on full. Let's play some football. So we actually played Biggleswade in the last match of the season, but I played an experimental youth side and we lost 1-0. It could have been more. It probably should have been more, but it was only 1-0. We actually allowed Biggleswade to win the league because of that. I hadn't realised they were fighting for the league title at the time, but they ended up winning the league because they took three points off us without much resistance from us, to be fair. Um, so they, they owe us a favour. 
So they should let us win today, you'd think. Unfortunately, that's not quite how football works. But it would be nice if it was. Maxwell all the way back to Madge. Yeah, we're just moving the ball around. We're kind of getting to grips with uh, with the opposition. Are they playing a two up top? I think they might be. I oh, know they're playing one up top. Just looks like these two here are right next to each other, but I guess that's the number nine. So yeah. Oh, instructions. Haha. <laughs> Would be good if I told them how to play, wouldn't it? Um, standard, wide, hit early crosses. I'm not going to shoot on sight just yet. Run at defence. Be more expressive. We're going to go the much higher tempo, lads. Please and thank you. Actually, we might go. Uh, no, we'll we'll leave another gear just in case. Distribute like this. Turn that off. Um, and then here we're going to go with that, and 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 we're done. So first break in play, that will all get switched. So I suppose I could talk a little bit more about the new players now that are actually in the game. So Thuo is a right back, uh, as you might have seen. He can also play left back a little bit. He's covered there a couple of times towards the back end of the season here. Um, for the most part, though, he is our first choice right back now. Um, we have still got Maxwell who can play there and Del Piccolo who can play there. But I think Thuo will be our sort of go-to guy in the right back position. It very much depends on, again, pre-season. Giving these guys a chance to actually bed into the team and get to know the tactics and things like that. That's key. Because we did kind of parachute them in. Basically, we were on course to win the league. I'll say that now. If I've got time at the end, um, I will show you the league table. or not the league table, but our results and how it worked. We were like one point off the leaders. I think we had a game in hand. And then we lost two games in a row. And even though we, we did recover and we kept winning games again after that, the teams above us just kept winning as well. So we just couldn't catch them. Mathematically, we couldn't catch them, unfortunately. Um... And then by the last game of the season, you know, we couldn't do anything. We couldn't even come second. So, just played a reserve team. Thought, why not? See what they can do. As it turns out, what they can do is lose 1-0. But it could have been worse. So, I'll take that as a slight positive. The fact that we only lost 1-0. And it was to the league winners. So, yeah. Could have been worse. Uh, but yeah, we, we parachuted these players in. Uh, yeah, just trying to think who it was. Prosser, Wilcox, Thuo... And I think Davidson came back in for a couple of games as well. I think um, Draper was suspended, so he missed a game and Davidson came in and missed an absolute sitter, which I think would have worked well for us had it gone in, but never mind. It's not exactly his fault when he's been out for with a broken leg or a, um ACL injury. I can't remember exactly what it was. But he's been out for the entire season. Uh, and he may not even re-sign with us for next season. So we basically signed him for two games. And we've paid him for two games. Huh. I think he comes out best in that scenario. Even if he can't walk when he's 40. I think he's still come out best in that scenario. Yeah. Makes you think that, actually. We just paid a guy to sit at home watching TV for seven months or whatever it's been. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, we brought them in at a really crucial point of our season and we gave them next to no time to actually hit the ground running. So some of them, Prosser, Wilcox, they've done alright. Um, but some of the others have struggled a little bit. And like I said, Simper, uh, he's a good player. I think he's got good stats. He'd be a really good inverted winger. But we brought him in in a system where we've never played with an inverted winger on the right before. I also put Del Piccolo at right back and I really should have played Maxwell. This is against Hodgston in the Premier Division Cup Final. Um... And, you know, my head was all over the place because I was, I, for those of you who don't know, I suffer from labyrinthitis and I think it was a little case of that that came up. So, focusing on what substitutions and tactical decisions to make wasn't exactly high on my priorities list at that point. Um, and we lost 4-1 and I think two of the goals were scored within like two minutes of each other right at the end of the game. So, on another day, had I not taken a turn for the worst, we might have won that one. I think we actually... We were 2-0 down and we scored very quickly after the second goal. And we did kind of dominate play for a little bit after that. And then it all went wrong again. So you never know. We'll never know. Worse players than me or better players than me, whatever you want to call it, might have saved scums and just gone, you know what, I wasn't well. Let's try again. 
But I figured we'll tie it into the uh, the law. Um, we didn't get promoted, so we didn't win the cup final as well. This is our last chance for silverware this season. No pressure on the players, of course, because they can't hear me right now. I hope they can't hear me. That'd be weird if they could. Um, but we're going to try and come out with something from this game. So far, we're not doing too bad. Maxwell with the handball in the box there, which wasn't that great for us. Yeah. Brown and uh, Torum have been immense in defence for us. They're, they're scoring goals as well. They're not just like near post, header on a corner kind of thing. Ronnie Torum, there was a ball over the top play to him and he, he did like a Decanio scissor kick into the top corner. It was amazing. I have to see if I can find the, the replay of it. It was an absolutely incredible finish. Um, and that was just in a bog standard league game. Uh, you know, if he does it today, I'll be very happy because then I won't have to go digging around for previous matches. We've also got, you know, uh, Donald Green, youth graduate. He's come through and he's been exceptional in that. Uh, he plays as a shadow striker, but in the cam role, he's been very, very good. Draper's had another good season. I think he's broken the scoring record for us, which is exceptional as well. Um, Cerulli, off the left-hand side, I think has also scored something like 16, 20 goals for us. Also very, very good. I'm trying to think who else has had a good season. Um, I mean, Del Piccolo at right back, for the most part, had a good season. I think he got suspended or injured or something, which is when I brought Thuo in. Uh, Madge has had a good season. We've had good seasons overall. It's just not quite been enough for promotion. I've already identified some areas where we're a little on the weak side and we need to strengthen. So hopefully that will change things going forward. And I've already started plugging gaps ready for next season. That's a good header from Torum Brown on the same wavelength as well. There we go. Just playing the ball around. But yeah, I'm looking forward to next season. I don't know what I'm going to do with the content for next season yet. Whether or not I'm going to skip most of the season and just aim for promotion. We're not going to go on an FA Cup run, I don't think. Um, that's not really my priority. Almost to the point that I, I might just play a fringe team in the whatever first round we're excuse me, put in. Uh, and see how we go there. As, as nice as the money is, we really need to start looking up now. We need to get a promotion under our belts. And playing all those extra... Especially with the replays as well. All those extra fixtures. We just had a knackered squad by the end of the season. I think we've played something like... What was it? 38 league games. We had, I think, three replays in the Cups. That's another six. So that's 44. Plus the Gladwish. Plus the Premier Division. Plus the FA Vars. I think we've played something close to 60 games this season. Which for a non-league team like us... Is an extortionate amount of football. Extortion is probably not the right word, but you know what I mean. It's a it's just exceptionally high number of matches. And yeah, we haven't played the same players in every game, and our squad is vastly different now to the one that we started the season with. There's still a lot of football to expect a non-league amateur team or part-time team to play. Uh, I can't imagine the real Hatfield Town being able to play that many games in a season. It's just crazy. We all know what Jurgen Klopp thinks when, you know, his team have to play an extortionate amount of games. Even though half of them are pre-season friendlies in countries that clearly they're going there for commercial reasons and commercial reasons only. Because they play English teams while they're over there. Anyway, let's not go into that conversation right now. Let's talk about Hatfield. Let's talk about football. Um, so the, the real Hatfield season starts this weekend, or it started the weekend just gone, sorry. I'm recording this on the Friday, so the first match has been played now. I believe they're playing Harefield United in the opening league game of the season. I can't be there, unfortunately. I'm gutted to not be able to be there. But uh, hopefully they played well. There's no point me wishing them luck now, because by the time you see this, the game will be over. Um, but fingers crossed for them. There's, there's a lot of good stuff going on behind the scenes right now. Um, with Hatfield so hopefully it'll be a good season for them I can't tell him to ease off tackles I have a horrible feeling Brown might get sent off in this game they'll book in the season quite nicely won't it he got sent off in his first appearance he might get sent off in his last um, but yeah good luck to Hatfield they got some new uh, some new coaching members Freddie Newman in fact who was a coach in uh, our save here as well he has stepped up to be a first team coach in real life so like I said in my tweet the other day life does in fact imitate art Got a new under-23 coaching team, which is exciting. Trying to bring through... One thing I really like with uh, with Hatfield, I've spoken to John about it before, 
is they really do want to bring through the next generation of, of uh, young talent. And particularly now we've got players who at one point were in the Hatfield youth system who are now representing the Juventus Academy of London in um, their annual tournament. I think it's an annual tournament. They have a tournament in Turin um, where different Juventus academies around, I'm assuming the world, all come together. And London actually won it this year, which is uh, exciting. Very exciting because there's two members who have played for the Hatfield youth teams who were in that team. So... I mean, if, if anything, to show your credentials, that is high on the list. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's it's a good time to be a stag right now. And the girls' teams as well, of course, if you want to be... I, I, I don't want to call them the does, but that is the opposite of a stag. So, the, the women's Hatfield teams, the girls' Hatfield teams, are, are starting to become more established as well, which is also good to see with the success of the Lionesses this year. It's only right that women's football gets the boost that it rightly deserves. Uh, and hopefully, you know, we might have a successful Hatfield Town women's team um, in the future as well. Not that it's not successful now, of course. I'm going to stop digging holes now and accidentally insulting people and just focus on what's happening on the screen here. Because Cerulli's got a free kick here in a really good position. And that's Maxwell on the header and the keeper actually tipped that over. Now, the sad thing is that's where Walker would have been swinging that in on the left foot. I was planning on playing Walker today, but he's actually suspended. Uh, he picked up too many yellows in previous matches. I'm absolutely gutted because this would have been a really good way to say goodbye to him. Especially if we won it, of course. Torum might get that in play. He was offside. Yeah, I'm going to miss Walker. It's going to be a big ask to replace him in midfield. We might already have players that can fill the gap, uh, you know, tactically. But to have someone like that around the dressing room as well, that's a big, big influence. And we're really going to miss that next season. There's a lot of squad trimming needed next season. We need to cut the wage budget uh, excessively, I would say. We're kind of in a Barcelona position right now, but we don't have a studio to sell to make money to keep us afloat. So we're going to have to cut the wage budget. I might look and see if there's other ways we could gain income than just playing friendlies. Obviously, a cup run would be a good way of doing it, but... Um, we might have to see if there are other ways. The unfortunate thing is, let's just see what happens here. Oh, green. Yes. That's why I stopped, because I had a feeling there might have been a goal coming. Donald Green in the 17th minute. And that's actually something a few games ago he wasn't able to do. Um, I've been having a look at his development and his coaching. First of all, the run off the, the defender there. That's something he could do, but he seems to have gotten faster. And that's a really tidy finish. Keeper stood no chance there. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, raising money. We can't sell players at this level because everyone's part-time. So some players do actually have value, but no one's going to pay it because we're all in the same boat here. No one has any money. So it's going to be difficult um, to, to keep the club cash flow positive i have decided with the whole money ball rules it's not even money ball rules just the rules i set myself for the series um some of the things like if the club goes into negative cash flow sell players until it's positive again that doesn't really work at this level once we get to say the um national league south or north depending on which one we're putting that's when that rule really starts to come into play when we can actually sell players clubs will bid money for our players that's when we can start putting that into play and hopefully we'll sell some players for big money with big sell-on clauses and we'll never have to worry about being bankrupt again that's the plan but for now we are over 70 grand in the hole winning this is not going to help it's going to get us a little bit of money it's probably going to be like two grand maximum um but other than that nothing <laughs> literally nothing so next season is going to be tough. I have no idea what's going to happen over the close season. Because last season we finished on a positive amount. Thanks to our cup run. This season we were positive. But then the league. Uh, trying to chase the league basically. I, I overspent a little on players. And it has kind of cost us a little bit. Green. Unlucky. Um, but I, I kind of took that on the chin. We went for a shit or bust. It didn't quite work out. So next season, it's going to be a little more careful. But we have got the squad now, I feel, that can challenge for a league title, which is exciting. So again, fingers crossed. Here's Lee Hersett. 
running through the centre here for Biggles Wade. Might need to leave some other players back on certain set pieces. This is Prosser going up against play there. That's Madge's ball all day long. It feels weird to be winning this one, actually, because Biggles Wade are kind of one of our bogey teams, I would say. But so far, we are actually holding our own. Draper backed off that one for some reason. Porter to Howard. Again, I'm going to try not to commentate too much on what's going on on the screen, unless there's a goal or something, of course. Um, I will check stats periodically. We are dominating right now, which is exciting. Um, I kind of just want to talk about, you know, real-life football, plans for the season, plans for next season. So we're going into season seven now for Stags to Riches, and we're still... We've had two promotions, I think, and that's it. So we still need, I think, three more. Two or three more before we get into the um, the National League South-North. So there's a lot in play still. We might start speedrunning seasons. I might start playing some seasons off camera, maybe showing just one game a season, just while we get up to a certain level, because I did not think it would take this long um, to get promoted. And then once we start looking like we're... That was a poor header for from uh, Thuo. Once we look like we're starting to show some signs of progress again, uh, we'll slow things right down again and, and start <clears throat> doing like three or four games a season again. I seem to have like a frog thing in my throat as well. It's weird. Hurst it to, I'm going to say Ivy. I think that's how you say his name. There's Maxwell with a challenge. Maxwell not having a great game. 6.6. .6. Compare that to Green. 7.3. Wilcox. 7.1. Draper. Oh, not Draper, sorry. So really on a 7.0. Yeah, Draper 6.7. Not very high. I don't really know why he headed that one like that either. Maxwell nearly got there. But it's still an ask. That's a good challenge from Thuo. So in terms of staying and leaving, we've got some players out on loan right now who I don't think will be with us next season. Steve Carter's one of them. Victory Kabaya as well. Um, who else is out on loan right now? There's a lot of youth players, under 23s and under 18s. Some of them I want to give them preseason and see what they're like. I think a lot of them. We have something like 40 players in our under 23 squad, most of whom we're paying wages to. All of them I'd like to get rid of if possible. And that will help with the wage bill. We're actually under wage budget right now, but we're still spending enough without re reaping in income that we're making a loss, a significant loss. We lose something like five grand a month. Um, so we need to... to turn that around otherwise the club is going to go under and that's not how we want this to end right now we are definitely in the uh, the rags part of the rags to riches i was going to say the stags part because of the name but again don't want to accidentally insult anyone we're in the rags part we're right down in in uh financial rock bottom as it were but i can hear the phoenix cry and we will be rising from the ashes soon Hopefully. I was going to do the fingers crossed thing again then, but I think I've done that enough today as well. It gets a bit cringy after a while. <laughs> Normally the first time. That's enough. Oh, who's that? That's Wilcox, isn't it? Number seven? Yeah. Why didn't he dive in there? He would have easily won that ball back. I mean, it's no danger in the end. It ends up with match, but imagine if they'd scored from that. I'd have been fuming. What the bloody hell would they have been playing at? Brown with the ball forward. Yes. Draper's a bit isolated up front right now. I'm not even saying to play long balls. That's the thing. I could tell them to play shorter. Something like that. We're 24 minutes in. Hurst it on the free kick. And there's a penalty. I think it was Cerulli. Yeah. And he's off. Wow. Well, this game just changed. This game just changed massively. Um, okay, can Thuo... No, he can't. But Brandon Lee can. Okay. Brown is going to move inside. No, not swap. Like that. Maxwell's going to move back to play centre-back. 
You can play as a stopper if you like, or if a no non. Actually, no, yeah, centre back is fine. Stopper. Um, Torum, these two are fine. So Lee is now going to play as a wing back set to attack, and Thuo is going to play as a full back, I guess, set to attack. Wilcox, Prosser, Green, Draper. I think everyone else is pretty much going to stay as is. Might change you to support. So we are a goal up, but they have got a penalty, so it's not going to stay forever. In terms of this, I think we're going to focus play through the middle. We'll switch back to standard. And attacking width, we're going to go quite narrow. Turn that off. Definitely turn that off. Everything else here I don't know. This stuff I think is fine. Actually, to be honest, with the five defenders, we could probably go with a much higher defensive line now. Because I, I, we might have to try and get our lead back, of course. Here comes Tracy then. What a stupid thing to do for Cirilli. That ball was going way over their heads. He had no reason to pull the guy back like that. 1-1. Freddie Tracy, 13th goal of the season, so it's not like it was his first or anything, but how annoying. Yeah. Okay. We go again. Let's see if encouragement will work. Oh, God, sorry. That was me punching my microphone. You'd think by now I'd know where that was, but I hit it. Every recording session I hit it at some point. Unbelievable. We do this a lot. We take the lead in matches. And I try and get us a second so we can relax a little bit. But it always ends in us making some stupid mistake which costs us. That was a massive mistake. Not good, sir, really. Oh, sh yeah. Maybe don't kick it to the flanks anymore. Uh, to playmaker. Let's try that. Let's see if Madge has got the accuracy to pick out a playmaker. Man, they're going to run rings around us. At least we've got the five defenders now. That should help out a little bit. We've just got no attacking threat right now. Lee with the header away. Could swap Prosser for green. Play green deeper and then bring on a second striker. This Davidson, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, green with the lunge. Brest is looking for an excuse now to book our players. He's not going to this time, but he's he's looking for excuses. I'm hoping he's looking for excuses for them too, though. I doubt it, but you never know. The annoying thing is. We were all over him until that point. We were absolutely all over him. Draper back to Torum. He's fouled. In a second once this updates. Oh. Confirm changes. Actually, let's... Uh, pause for a second um, instead of cautious I am going to go with positive what else was I going to change oh uh, play for set pieces because they've got some players on yellows so if we can get the second yellows that'll even things up a bit more we might even switch back the annoying thing is if green could play as a winger as well which, the amount he drifts out wide, you'd think he'd be able to. That might be something I'll retrain him in, to be honest. Um, we wouldn't have had to change the system. We could have just moved green out wide. But I'm not going to do that now. Or if Maxwell could play as a cam, I suppose we could move him in behind as well. But Yeah. Or if Thuo could play as a wing back, because Lee can. Actually, why don't I just do that? Why don't I just move you into that position? We're going a bit lopsided here, sure, but works we could focus play down the left 
no overlap, but just focus play down the left. Yeah, why don't I just do that? <laughs> what 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 do we lose at this point, you know? We've already lost a man. Worst case scenario is we'll lose the game. So what? Well done, Madge. I think the camera's caught that one. This one certainly did. Torum now to Wilcox. There we go. Out wide to Lee. We haven't even switched to that system yet, but we'll see what happens in a second when we do. There we go. Good throw. Not a great pass. But we have still got it, thanks to Draper. Yeah, that's not a good ball. I would say Lee's caught out of position, but Torum actually does get over there and cover, which is nice. And there's a mistake. Which is also nice. Unless it's us making it. In which case, it's not nice. Brown long ball forward. Draper is chasing. Is there any point of having Draper as a target forward right now? We could just move him to be a pressing forward set to attack. Because then he'll actually chase things down. And he's not the fastest, but if, you, if you're the goalkeeper at this level and the ball get, gets passed back to you and you look up and there's a 6'2 or 6'3, whatever he is, striker running straight at you, you are going to shit yourself. It's just a fact of life. You are going to shit yourself. And that's what we need. We need the intimidation factor. I'm trying to play like European silky football in a league where they just kick lumps out of each other. So what's Madge going to do here? He's bypassed the playmaker, but he has looked for green. Didn't find him. But he had a little look at least. Give him credit for that. Maybe I'll tell Madge to play it down the flanks again now. We've got a bit more width on the left. That's not a bad idea. One second. So it's here. Distribute to flanks. Here. Yeah. Let's try it. I might switch from positive to attacking as well. Uh... I mean, the annoying thing is that's kind of what I want him to do, just not that blindly. Maxwell with the foul there, but the rest wave play on, and there's the shot. I don't know why I did an affliction like that, but it didn't go in, so that's fine. Imagine now with another massive up and under, but Draper nearly got to it that time. And here comes Wilcox. Oh, you lucky bastard. Whoever that was who kept hold of it then, Porter, you lucky, lucky sod. Not so much on that pass, but the first one. Wilcox should have absolutely poleaxed him then, and he didn't. Let's turn that on as well. There we go. You can't actually see what I'm changing there, because it's behind the camera, I've just realised. Uh, I think, actually, when I stream, I actually have the camera up here, so you can see what I'm doing. But if you didn't before, you do now. Madge, just trotting over. Take your sweet time, mate. And I mean that sincerely. Oh, yep. Sod. Giving it away. That's it. Just play it nice and easy. I think Maxwell could have played that a little bit better, but I definitely think Draper could have chased that one. There you go. Look, keep him panicked. He did find Howard. They had like three players open, but still. Panicked. Wilcox winning it back. That's good. Lee's running. Lee's running. Lee's offside now. Prosser. That's a good ball if Green can get to it, which he can. It sits up nicely for him as well. Donald Green pulls it back to Lee. Now Wilcox. Back to Prosser. The attack's breaking down as we speak here. Ah, oh, if you flip in flip. And the attack is broken down completely now. 
I think there are some players who aren't getting forward to support as much as perhaps they should. Like Thuo here. You are set to get further forward. I don't know if Lee is. I don't know if Lee is as well. Oh. I'm going to turn you off attack. I'm going to put you on support. Because you're going to be trying to go to the byline each time, aren't you? And that's not good. Yeah. It's that fine thing. I wish I wish there was a third option, which was like attack but don't go to byline. Because that is kind of annoying. Obviously, I don't want my players constantly running to the byline and then trying to pull it back. But at the same time, if you don't set them to attack, they just don't get forward anywhere near enough. I'm glad that went out because Torin missed it and I genuinely thought we were about to uh, concede a penalty. Again. It's only because Cerulli was already on a yellow. That's why I'm annoyed with him. If he'd actually just conceded a penalty and then that was his first yellow, I'd have been like, okay, it's annoying, but it's not that bad. We can recover. But now we're down to 10 men. And we've still got a whole half of football to play. That's, that's irritating. Lee to Draper. Wilcox, who's a little bit deep for my liking. So I might tell him to get further forward. He'd probably be an advanced playmaker now set to attack. bad there. I'm trying to win it back at least. That's the thing, they're not really troubling us much. Like even now, we've still had more shots than them, but we haven't had a shot since we scored. We certainly haven't had one since we went down to 10. That's not ideal. Big kick there. He's going to get that. That's poor defending. Maxwell with a good header away. Is that Lee or was that Torum who just let that go behind them? I think it was Lee. Get into him. Come on. Howard offside. An offside trap actually worked to that time. That's good. Torum's free kick. Ah, it's just not that good, is it? Let's just do that. Draper is he's got no chance up front on his own. He needs support. But I don't want to bring Green off. I think I'm going to have to bring Prosser off. And go back to... Four at the back. Oh my god, Brown. Four at the back. Maybe move Maxwell back into the right wing role. We've got Morley on the bench we can bring on. Play left wing. Just gives them some kind of support. I'll give it till half time. Assuming we're still in the game. We'll make those changes. We'll see what happens. Is he offside there? Yes. Definitely looked it. Five minutes of the first half to go. Torum playing it short to Wilcox. Now Prosser to Green. That's nice to Draper. That's... That would have been good if he was a winger. Not so good now. Can Green play? Let me just try something. No, no, I don't want to select the, the actual player. I don't know how you do that. 
Maybe you can't. I wanted to see if he can actually, because in the match plan sometimes, he ends up playing as a right or left midfielder. Not as a winger, like an attacking midfielder, but as a, um, well, wide midfielder, I suppose. And he doesn't seem to struggle. So I'm wondering if he has got some ability to play in that position. Let's see. Donald Green. Yeah, none here that we can see. How weird. Uh, what about... Yeah, Maxwell can't either. Alright, never mind. It was a thought. Could have played him on the left. There's a shot over the top. <sighs> Lucky. Four and a half minutes. No, three and a half minutes. Can't count. Plus injury time, of course, which hopefully there won't be any. Wilcox. Green's running in that channel again, if we can find him. Switches it over to Thuo, who did well there to shake off the first man. And he actually did win it back there, but gave it straight to Ivy. Not having a bad game, 6.6. .6. Maxwell on a 6.3. The funny thing is, Maxwell is actually a centre back. That is his position, but I play him out wide because he's very, very quick. Um, and he's a good winger too, and a good fullback. But he actually prefers to play as a central defender, and he's moaned at me for not playing him as a central defender. And yet now he's playing as a central defender. Turns out he can't really play as a central defender. He's a bit like a, is it Lissandro Martinez, who's just signed for Man United, where he's like five foot two or something, but he's still a centre back. Like he can play with the ball at his feet and he can tackle to an extent, but he's not really a centre back. He's more of a defensive midfielder, but like a Mascherano, you know. That's what I feel like Maxwell is. But in a back three, like we've technically got right now, could be a good position for him. Brown needs to be careful because that's twice he's kicked someone now. Again, if we could just get to half time, I'll make some tweaks and we'll see what we can do. That's a big kick over the top from Madge. It nearly paid off. We have actually got a throw in very, very high up the pitch. This could work out still. Lead to take. To green. Cross comes in. Draper with the flick. Again, if we'd had a right winger there, that might have been something. Brown's headed to Prosser. Now Thuo. He's flicked it across. Ah. I can see what he was trying there, but mm, wasn't going to work. It was not going to work. Can't be losing the ball there. And Pross is going to get himself booked. No, just a warning? Okay. I mean, fair enough, ref. You've been quite lenient there, I feel. Two minutes of injury time. Just entering the first one now. Pass it to Johnson. We're just going to pass it around, I think, for the rest of the first half. Oh, low cross. Oh, did not like that. Good save from Madge. Good save from Madge. My goodness, I genuinely thought that was going in then. Pull back to Hurset. That's a great save from Madge. He's kept us in this game. He has been by far our best player this season, I would say, Patrick Madge. In terms of consistency, don't get me wrong, Draper's done well. Green's done well. Walker, Brown, Torum, Mason as well. They've all had good seasons. But Patrick Madge, bringing him back was an absolute masterstroke. And that audio glitch, I think, is my headset playing up again. Here we go. 
uh, yeah, Madge has just been a breath of fresh air. Very, very good keeper. We'll struggle to replace him if anyone tempts him away again. I got complacent. That's the reason he left the first time, because he kept rejecting offers. So I stopped offering him new terms. And then someone came in and they clearly offered him something he was happy with and he left. I could switch to defensive between now and half time, but I don't see the point because we're basically at half time. There's, what, 15 seconds left of this first half. But maybe that's what I should have done. That's what smart people do. I don't know why he keeps kicking it. Where's no, no one standing? I know I've said focus play down the left, but I didn't mean from him. Though I did do distribute the flanks. That's probably why. Oh well, we got to half time. I got my wish. So before I go into the dressing room, I'm going to make my changes now. First one is Maxwell back there. Brown's going to shift back to here. Lee's going to move back to here. These guys are going to go back to what they were doing before. We're going to swap Prosser with Green. Green is going to play as a deep line playmaker, I guess, set to support. Wilcox is going to be a ball winning midfielder set to defend. So actually, I should probably swap these two around. There we go. Prosser is going to move out there and he's going to be replaced by Morley. In terms of this, then, we're going to go for very attacking. Um, extremely high tempo, slightly more direct passing. Going to turn that off. Width, we're going to go with yeah, very wide. We could do that. Shoot on sight. Be more expressive. Good. In transition. This can probably all stay as is. Might just turn that off and let the keeper do what he wants. And then this one. I'm also happy with that. So we've made one sub. We have been unlucky so far. I am going to have a word with Cerulli wherever he's gone. us in real trouble. He seemed motivated, so it's not like I've torn him a new one or anything. I've just had a little word. That's our sub. Morley on. Prosser off. We've gone back to the wide players, and hopefully I mean, straight away, Maxwell running in behind here. And he pulls it back to Thuo. Thuo with the left-footed volley. Now, if that had gone in, I'm not saying I don't have any faith in the man, but if that had gone in, I would have gone and bought a lottery ticket for tomorrow. That's all I'm saying. Torum to Lee. Finding Morley. Morley can also play left back as well, which is good. In case we uh, get an injury. Oh, oh, Davis is on a yellow. He's on a yellow. Come on, ref. You are joking. You booked Cerulli for... Ah. Oh. All he did was tie his laces together. You've not even booked him for blatant push. What is this game come to? My free kick came to nothing as well. It's annoying. Come on, for once, I want to see us on the podium lifting that trophy. Maxwell with a very ambitious cross, but Morley is going to keep it in. Morley pulls it back to green. Now Morley... Goes for the cross, it's blocked, that's a corner. Already Morley's done more in this match <laughs> than Prosser, I think. Sounds harsh, I know, but... Just having that winger again, it's, it's like a breath of fresh air. Ellis with the kick forward, Wilcox with the header. I don't know why Wilcox was the furthest player back there, but I'm grateful to him anyway. Lead to Torum. Torum's ball forward. Didn't quite fall Draper's way. Need to get Draper on the weights, I think. If I could make him like Akin Fenwa Mark II, that would be brilliant. Just keep getting him to pump iron until he's the strongest man alive. He'll be no good to me as a footballer because he won't be mobile enough, but, you know, at least he'll be able to push defenders out of the way. Madge, big kick. Hoof. Straight to Rosenberg, sadly. No accuracy. That's our big problem right now. Oh, how's, how's Morley not intercepted that? I know, again, it's the match engine interpreting numbers. Interpreting numbers. 
What the hell does interpreting mean? Uh, it's the match engine in interpreting numbers. But still, he's basically run over the ball as it's gone past him. Corner to Biggles Wade. Hurst it to take. Whips it far post. Wilcox. Ah, missed it. Green headed it away. I'm going to fire the team up as well. See if that gets them going. Draper only on a 6.4. Leeds only on a 6.4. Could bring Davidson on. Maybe Rudd would have been a better option. Rudd does join us permanently next season. We have lost Mikengo. Mikengo did leave. You can't miss those. You need to head those clear. Rosenberg with the pull cross. Porter now. Brindley shot. I've seen those go in. Got to defend better than that. Draper's fouled. Well played. Well played, Harry. Just suck him in. That's it. And Maxwell playing it short to Morley. Now Lee. That's offside. Even if he'd got that, that would have been offside. Ellis, kick forward. Morley now to Lee. We definitely need to strengthen the left back position. What happened there? The guy just teleported. Um, okay, that's the thing. So now we've got to put up with teleporting uh, right backs as well. Great. Left back position is something we need to strengthen is what I was trying to say. Because we, we have been exposed there a few times this season. Don't get me wrong. Brandon Lee was a good signing at the time. But I need a summer where I'm not panic signing, which is basically what I've done this season. And to an extent, it worked. We brought in some good players who have helped us. Um, but it was only in the second half of the season where I started chasing long-term targets again and trying to convince them to join. That's when we really showed signs of improvement. Ooh, Madge, you can't drop those. Duo did well to get that and clear it, though. And that's a foul. How many more, ref? How many more? Um, but yeah, Morley can play left back. Lee can play left back. I, don't, I haven't decided what's happening with Diego Torres yet. I think he will be moved on at the end of the season. He's our last player, though, from the original Stags. So it's going to be hard to see him go. But I think already he wants to leave. He doesn't want to stay. So that might have to happen. He's out on loan at the moment, like I said. Um... So yeah, I'm just going to have to go scouting and see if I can find a decent left back. Is that offside, really? Wow. Funny enough, the club are actually tagging me in tweets right now whilst um, whilst I'm recording this. So I can tell you. Uh, Harefield United Reserves are the opposition this weekend. And also, so I mentioned about the under-23 coaching team, but Kieran Extents is staying as assistant manager this season. Um, good goalkeeper. I've seen him play in goal. He, was good. he actually came on to replace an injured goalkeeper. Who was it? It wasn't Mac. I think it was somebody else. Actually, it might have been Mac was in goal. Went off injured and Kieran came on for the last few minutes. Basically wearing his assistant manager garb because he didn't have a keeper kit on him. Made a couple of good saves. Uh, so, yeah. Having a, a, an assistant manager who can also strap on the boots when necessary. It's always handy to have. Oh, is, that must be a frost. Yeah, offside again. Come on, Harry. Stay onside. Um, but yeah, the coaching team's looking good. Ray is manager. Kieran is assistant. Freddie is first team coach. I'm really hoping for good things for the Stags this season. You can really see they're trying to build a solid foundation to, to, to go from. Um, and last season, it just didn't quite get going. But when they did play football, they played it really good football uh, I saw them four times five times last season and the one time we won that I was there really good match so I do wish them the best of course be a bit weird if I didn't considering the work I do for them uh, yeah Davis has got to be off now come on ref 
Taking the piss now, surely. There we go. Get off my pitch, son. I know it's your ground, but get off my pitch. Brandon, well played. You've got a man sent off. I think he was their right winger, though. Although we got our left winger sent off. So I suppose it cancels out. I'll be interested to see what their formation is now. They probably haven't changed anything. Morley with the cross towards the back post. Maxwell with the header. Uh, let's say about that, the better, I think. Cross, oh, cross from deep. Get further forward. Uh, just supposed to be on support. Cross from deep. Get further forward. Here we go. Lee now on the ball. Morley not really overlapping. Oh, we can set overlapping again, can't we? One sec. Maybe more. Actually, no, we can do it on both sides. Overlap right, overlap left. Sure. Uh, we'll go with slightly more direct still. I don't think we're ready to go completely. We can run at the defence a bit more now, though. Let's try this for a bit. We've got two more subs in the tank if we need them. Draper offside. I think I'd have rather that had just gone out for a goal kick, actually. It's a poor, poor ball from Lee, but... If that had just gone out for... Because now he's got, like... What's that? A yard advantage? And we all know what difference that can make. That was unlucky. Come on, Draper. Chase it down. That's it. Just force the quick kick. That's how you make them make mistakes. Lee now to Morley. Kind of put a knee in the back there, which I don't condone. But he's going to get booked for that, is he? Nope, just a warning. Bit lucky there. Bit lucky. Who is that warming up on the touchline there in a Hatfield tracksuit? Because they've been warming up for the last sort of 20 minutes. Oh, Ronnie. Ronnie, 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 Ronnie. We didn't get punished, but that was a bad mistake. You just don't do that. <coughs> See Draper's kind of getting marked out of the game. Their DM drops back as well. We do need someone else up there alongside him, but who? That's the big question I genuinely don't know the answer to right now. Ball almost worked to Maxwell. It's not over yet. Torum going up for it, winning it, not finding anybody with it. Tracy now. Oh, that was another change I was going to make. Madge, please get this. Thank you. So, Brown, I'm going to move you from this to central defender purely so I could tell you to ease off tackles now. Because we have got a centre back on the bench. Um,. Fact, we've got two centre backs on the bench if you count Del Piccolo, but I'd rather not have to use them if I can help it. Come on, can't just let them move the ball around like that. More first team news. <laughs> Well, technically under 23's news. Uh, wait. Sorry. First team news. It is first team news. Formerly um, under 23's manager, Leon Theoharis is now a member of the first team coaching staff. Another big announcement. Thank you, whoever it is who runs Hatfield's Twitter now. Thank you for tagging me in all of these because <laughs> I would not have been able to keep up with all the news otherwise. I will retweet these tweets shortly after I finish recording here, so you'll be able to see them. Obviously, by the time you watch this video, you should have already seen them on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, uh, at m4j underscore media. Maxwell here, he's got the ball out wide, he's going to run with it. 
You can get it in. There's four, three players in the box. I, I can count, honest. Wins the throw. I'll take that, to be fair. I'll take that. Could have been worse. Throws it to Maxwell. Wilcox to Thuo. He crosses it to our post and out of play. Come on, lads. We need to be better in those areas. 29 minutes left. 28 and a half. I'm going to be pedantic about it. 28, 10. If you want to be really pedantic about it. Ellis with the goal kick. We lost that battle. Oh, God. Torum, my God. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Again, the match engine probably doesn't show it how it's meant to be. He probably just nicked it off him or something like that. But when they go in like that, I'm just really nervous. To be honest, Torum, I could probably bring off and bring on Mason. And I'm going to do that because why not? We might still lose Brown, but at least we'll have one centre back who isn't on a yellow. God, their keeper went down in stages then. You see that? Big hoof. Again, that's a hell of a ball from their goalkeeper. Ronnie forcing them wide. Pull back to Porter. Now Hersit with the drive. And Lee Hersit can score long ranges. If you watch hashtag, you'll know. Oh, they've gone with a diamond. See, they've gone with kind of what we did. Maybe we should look to do that then and just cancel them out. Oh, Draper. What are you doing, mate? All right, Ruben. Out wide to Lee. That's why it's good to have three centre-backs. Just in case someone gets sent off. I don't know where Lee was crossing that to. I just... I, I just... I just... Don't know. Uh... So again, they're playing quite wide for a team who are basically playing a midfield diamond. Green to Morley. Lee's out wide. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. If you can get that. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Thought he was going to get that then. That would have been so good. He was in a really good crossing position. Lee's having a stinker this half. 6.2. The thing is, we don't have anyone else that we can play left wing. So we can't even move Morley back. No. It has to be Lee. Unless we just... Unless we just go with like two up top. Green just behind. Then Wilcox. And then a back four. That's basically what they've done. Except we'll have two up top instead of one. Hmm. So we'll be sacrificing the DM. Really to do that. But then where does Maxwell go? Yeah, we can't do that. That wouldn't work. I think we're not looking like we're going to lose this one right now. So is there any harm in just sticking with what we're doing? Hoping for the best. Maybe not playing as direct. Maybe trying to pass it around them a little bit more. That was a bit risky there from Brown. Losing headers there is not what we want to be doing at this stage of the game. Good take down there, though. Ball Draper. Is he in behind here? He is. Pretty sure he's onside. He goes down. But it's a throw in. Again, a teleporting defender. Can't, just can't compete against teleporting defenders. That was awful from Morley. You want to see better than that. Lee tried to have a shot. Tracy now. Uh... We get the ball back off them, maybe. Mm. Howard's cross. Again, when the ball doesn't get one there, I'm, I'm constantly thinking it's going to be a penalty. We got away with one there. Play it in field, for God's sake. Do the overlap, for God's sake. Whatever it is we need to do to make stuff happen right now, do it, for God's sake. 
turn that off. Oh, the tempo. Can we turn that tempo down? No one's really that tired. Lee's tired, but, you know, it must be exhausting being mediocre. Thank you, Keeper. Can't be offside now. Brown with a long ball across. Morley was there and then ran away from it. And then he let Howard clear it there too. Maybe he knew Ruben was going to bring it down. Who knows? Morley round the corner. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. How are you not getting that? That's so frustrating. Do you know what? I'm already thinking third and final sub. We're going to move Thuo to left back and we're going to bring Del Piccolo on to play right back. Because my stress levels cannot take any more of Brandon Lee. <laughs> it's just useless. Uh, he's not a bad player overall, but today he's been useless. Those were two really good balls down the line from Morley. Perhaps a slightly overhit. Just like a modicum of overhitness. And Lee's just like, I'm not getting that. Just going to let it go out of play. And he does a little jog after it just to make it look like he's interested. But we all know he's not. Slow. Slow and sloppy. And that's corner. Now, if we could head this one away from the box, lads, that would be good. Away from the box. There we go. Here's Morley. Draper's kind of on his own if he can get the ball across. He elects to keep running and wins the throw. I think a ball across. I think it was Maxwell was running through on the other side as well. Morley. Out to Lee. He does actually get it this time. And he's put one across. Maxwell's header over the bar. <sighs> he's just not winning those, is he? Draper's header. Okay, I've got this like really convoluted idea in my head for what to do with the formation and the final sub. Uh, it involves moving a lot of players around the pitch, but I think I've got it sussed. So the only player we've got out there right now who's on a yellow card is Brown. And he's also the one who likes to dive into challenges. And he's also on the tired side, which does make me nervous. But I don't think we can change him. It's all to do with what positions our players can play in. That's the bit that's frustrating me. Because I want another striker up front with Draper. Which means bringing Davidson on. But if I do that. I still want an extra midfielder. So I'd want to bring on. Um, uh, Lack. Forgot the name of our midfielder then. I want to bring Lack on. Which then means moving green forward. But I can't bring Lack on. Because then I, if I do that I can't then bring Davidson on. Because we've only got one sub left. This isn't the Premier League where there's five subs. Steamage last week actually brought six on because of the concussion laws. I didn't know this, but if a, if a team makes a concussion sub, the other team gets an extra sub as well. So Steamage made six substitutions last week, which means every outfield substitute was on the pitch by the time the game finished. The only, we, the only player we didn't sub off was our goalkeeper. Or sub on, sorry, was our sub goalkeeper. The rest of the bench all came on. I've never seen that before. No one in the commentary box for Steamish wanted to say anything in case we'd accidentally broken the rules and they brought it to the officials' attention. But no, that is a genuine uh, law this season in football. I don't know if it's for the Premier League, but it definitely applies to the EFL. Lee with the block. Okay, we got 17 minutes left. It's time I did some shuffling. So I'm going to bring Lee off. I'm going to bring Davidson on. And I'm going to move Davidson up front with Draper. Like this. Davidson, you're going to play as a pressing forward set to support. Draper, you're going to be a target forward set to attack. Maxwell. Now, what I wanted to do was put Maxwell at left back, Thuo at right back. Uh, Maxwell at right back, Thuo at left back. But then we've got Morley, who can only play on the left. So I think for Maxwell... 
what I'm going to do is play him as a DM. Because he can play DM. And we're going to go with this. So Wilcox is going to go back to... Probably like a deep line playmaker. Green is going to be the second striker. And then Maxwell is going to be the ball winning midfielder set to defend. These guys here. Uh, Morley especially. But I'm also going to try and do it with Thuo. I'll set you to an automatic. And I do want you to... Oops. Almost clicked the wrong thing. Cross from deep. Cross more often. Get further forward. Where you run with the ball is entirely up to you, friend. As for you... Cross from deep, cross more often, get further forward is already on. Good stuff. Davidson here might have you move into the channels maybe or roam. Probably roam actually. And then Draper, if I can, uh, hold position. Oh, I, yeah, you should stay in position fairly often anyway. And then green, roam, shoot more. Because you've already scored one goal. I don't really want this to go to extra time. Don't be anxious, Tom. You'll be fine. Just stay calm. Stay cool. Mason with a brilliant header away. And here's Davidson already. First touch of the game. I'd say he did the right thing there. He could have switched play. But we kept possession. And he's got it back here as well. Uh, do need now to say don't overlap anymore. The rest of this stuff I think I'm okay with. We might go a little bit narrower here. Yeah. And I might give him another shout in a minute as well. Yeah, that, let's not lose the ball there, shall we, uh, Zane? Poor ball from Draper. Could win it back, though. This is a bit of a gamble, going with the two up top. I don't think these two have played with each other before. So it's a bit of a risk, but that's nice from uh, Morley there, winning that foul. So, shouts. Uh, praise him. See if that gets anything. Encourage is normally the one. Used to be get creative, and I can't remember what that got replaced with. Morley there with a little lunge. He's just doing his morning exercises. Got 15 minutes of the game left. Rosenberg short to Howard. So we're still pretty strong defensively. We've both had a man sent off. So whatever one of us does, the other one basically has to counter it. So we've gone two up top. They've made two subs. I don't think they've made three. So they might still have one more trick up their sleeve. Morley, Davidson is in behind. Good recovery run from Howard. Unfortunately for us, that was a good recovery run from Howard. Molly with a cross. Draper at the back post. That's more encouraging, actually. Also, uh, again, just a quick pause, sorry. Uh, Thuo, when you cross, cross to the target forward. Same with you, Morley. Let's aim now for Draper. And if he can nod it back down. Oh, there's their final sub. Freddie Tracy off. Uh, what was the pronunciation on that guy's name? Okabenya, I think it said. I don't want to guess. I didn't read it. That's the problem. It disappeared before I had a chance to read it. Thuo to Maxwell. Back to Thuo. Never mind. I don't know why he let that one go. It genuinely looked like it was straight at him as well. Makes me slightly angry. Johnson with a long ball forward. Thuo wins that back. Well played. Mason in acres here. So is Morley. So yeah, we, they've gone with hardly anyone forward. We've gone with a pretty decent defensive line still. I don't know why I'm to the crowd there. 
Rosenberg, Davidson tried to put the challenge in. There it is from Davidson. Nice. Now Morley. Loses the throw there. Just under 12 minutes left. I don't want this to go to extra time. I really don't want this to go to extra time. What else can we do? We can go really direct. Try and break the deadlock that way. Howard's cross blocked. Goes out for a corner. What's Morley on now? 6.6. .6. He's having a good one. 6.7 now. Maxwell's having a shocker, but he's been moved around a lot. Draper's having a shocker. Green's still doing well. I, I think that was Draper who lost his header there. That's not how you win football matches. You've got to win headers in your own box. Oh, look at that. There's three of them forward and not one of them went for that header. What is going on? Over opposition, as you know, target forward. Just aim for Draper. He's got to win him, surely. If he's actually aimed at him, surely he'll actually compete for it. Howard. Molly keeping tabs on him. Yeah. Molly keeping good tabs on him. Fair enough. I don't like us moving the ball around in these tight areas and that's why. Because it always leads to a mistake and it's always one of our players and now Wilcox is going to have to take one for the team. Sorry, Max. Thanks for doing it, though. Hopefully they don't score from this and it'll all be worth it. Hurst it with the free kick. It's around here where we conceded the penalty, wasn't it, in the first half? Ball in. Ooh, Mason, you lucky boy. You lucky, lucky boy. Eight and a half minutes left. Plus injury time. Madge going long. Towards Draper, who does win it and finds Thuo. Little back heel to Wilcox. Now Draper. Draper's cross. Davidson went for it. Rosenberg headed it away well, but Morley now. Oh my god. <laughs> if that had gone in. Wow. Very ambitious, but the keeper was a ways off his line there. So if that had been a little bit lower, that would have gone in. And I think that's what Morley saw. He saw the keeper off his line. Just going to get stuck in. That's not quite what I meant, Nathan. That's going to be yellow as well. Yeah, that's for persistent fouling, I would say, because he's had a couple of those. Let's, uh, let's just take stock for a second. Morley. He's off. Uh, Wilcox. He's off. Actually, Morley. Might have you mark tighter as well. So that you're not lunging in late. But you're already on the guy. And just don't foul him. If you could, If you could not foul the chap, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Ellis with the cannon forward. Madge says thank you very much and then decides to head it for some reason. Now Thuo with the ball forward and Ellis is like thanks very much. And he decides to do the actual right thing and pick it up. I know I've got Madge set to a sweeper keeper but I don't think I've ever seen him do that before. He's proper annoyed it there. Good play. That's good play. Come on. Green. Pass it. Alright, draw the foul. That's fine. I don't mind that. If we have a good free kick from here, I don't mind that. 
All that pace he showed in the first half seems to have evaporated again, I see. And he clips it over the top. Mason running towards it. Just again, a little too much on it. I don't really know how to tell them to not do that from those positions. Maybe just play it short. All free kicks in that area, just play it short. Brown well cut out. Just flicks it forward. Not smart. Johnson now. Brown brings it down. Mason to Morley. Davidson was... Or Green. One of them was running into... Oh, there you go. It was Green. Now Green with the ball out wide to Thuo. That's a really well played ball as well. Thuo needs to cross it. He does get it in. But Brindley's got the freedom of Biggles Wade there to head that clear. And he's picked out his teammate. Wilcox chasing. He's just tracking. He's not doing anything drastic. And he stayed gold side too, which is good to see. Uh, one more little tactical tweak here. I'm going to tell you to stop roaming. You might move into channels, but you're not going to roam. And you're going to shoot more often as well, because why not? You see there, he's, he's way out of position. We've basically got like a staircase front three. He shouldn't be playing deeper than uh, Green. Thuo went for the ball there. He didn't win it. Mason covering. Draper with the foul, but again, that's fine. He's not on a yellow. Don't mind him doing that. Encourage them for the final few minutes here. I think they're time wasting. Okay, that's not good from Green. Yellow card for him. Again, you know, he's not he wasn't on a yellow, so it's not like he's got himself sent off, but we don't need him to be doing that. Didn't need to make that challenge. it back to their keeper. Mason with the header clear. Can't get sucked too deep. we got to keep pushing forward at them. There you go. Chase it down, Harry. Yikes. Okay, maybe our defensive line will move back one. Just one. No more than that. One is fine. Pretty sure Green jumped up with his knee raised there, which we don't want to see. clear it's all over the top which I didn't want to see but Ruben is there he's forcing him wide and he's blocked the cross as well well played Ruben Brown's on a seven now considering he's been booked that that shows how well he's actually played today that's it hitting it in low I thought Brindley's head had deflected then, but no, apparently it came just straight off him. That's a good corner kick. That is inviting someone to run onto it. Which is exactly what happened. Draper again losing the header. Wilcox now to Davidson. Draper, that's a really good ball. It's just too much on it for Green. Oh, that would have ended it as well if he'd got that. Oh, no, so close. It's just, it's little ones like that. It just makes you think when this game goes to extra time, which is really starting to look like it is going to, unfortunately. 
what would have happened if he'd have got that ball? This is all fine. I think this is all fine as well. Draper winning the free kick. That's fine because now the tactical changes can happen. We've got three minutes of injury time left. This is our first big chance. Everyone's offside. Green crosses it anyway to Davidson. Who, guess what? Was offside. That's annoying. How do we... Sports Interactive, if you're watching, just make that not happen anymore. Also, make the game not freeze. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Just, yeah, why are they all standing offside there? I don't get that. You do see it sometimes, but then they all move back onside. And yet, with our teams, they don't. They just stay where they are. And the game's frozen again. And the game's unfrozen again. We've got two minutes of injury time left. And then it's extra time. That's Madge's ball all day long. He's got two big strikers to aim this for. But I guarantee you he'll kick it to green. Uh, he actually aimed for Davidson there, to be fair. Morley goes forward. Ah, uh, he's green. I think his hair's grown. That's why he used to have shorter hair. It's hard to recognise him. He is running in behind still. Just not as much as I'd like. Or he's not got the pace that I would like. Brown. Well played. Back to Morley. To Madge. Madge going long again. Draper running. Draper nowhere near it. Absolutely nowhere near it. The team talk at the end of this game. I am actually going to let Draper have it. Because he's not played well at all. And it's a shame, because he has been, like I said, one of our best players this season. But he's just not been on it today. Davison could have played that then. He had two players in front of him. He has still kept it, which is fair enough. Maxwell, Davidson, Wilcox, Green. Maxwell sprays it out to Morley. 30 seconds or it goes to extra time. Morley's cross. Draper tries to bring it under. He does. He finds Thuo. Thuo with the shot. And it's blazed over the bar. Fair enough for having a go. But, ah. And they've made another sub. Is it four subs? Have I missed this? They just brought her sit off. I'm going to try and make another sub. Hang on. Who would I bring off? Draper. You know, it's three subs. Do they only make one? I swear they made two subs earlier in the game. I don't know where I saw that then. But yeah, I think we're just going to keep playing what we're playing now. And if it ends up going to penalties, so be it. If we end up losing, I mean, at least we tried to win it. Again, I think we've been the better team. They've had more shots. And actually, they've had more possession. So maybe not. Here's Green, though, trying to get in behind again. Oh, I forgot to do the thingy. I was going to let Draper have it, wasn't I? Uh, Clear-cut chances. Apparently, we've had none, and they've had one. But we've scored. So, I guess you can score without it being a clear-cut chance. Because, I mean, Green shot early. So, you wouldn't even describe it as a chance. I guess. Here's Morley. Crosses it early. Oh, the keeper only punched it there. If we'd have actually challenged then, we might have been in. Everyone gave up on it. And then their defender really took the mickey by heading it back to the keeper for him to then catch. Brown chasing Ivy. Now I'm a little nervous now about the players we have got on yellows. So I don't know if they've still got players out there who themselves are on yellows. Does it show it on there? I don't think it does. Hang on. Let me just pause the game again. So this is us up the top here. This is them. You can kind of see how our... Um, is that what I wanted? I guess. 
yeah um you can kind of see how we complement each other's formations here except we've gone two up top and they've gone with two central midfielders not that our two up top are actually doing anything for us right now. Draper's on a six. He's going to drop into the fives before this game's over, I can tell you now. Maxwell, unlucky. I thought he'd won that back then. He's trying, bless him. He is trying. Howard. Back to Porter. Now Birchall. Who came on for her sit at the end. So they've kind of lost their set piece guy at least. Unless Birchall's better. In which case why didn't he start. You can see how we're frustrating them. There's five of us marking three of them. So long as we can keep that momentum. Throughout extra time. We should be okay. But we need to find that spark ourselves. Davidson's on a 6.6. .6, Green on a 6.8. And has already scored knows how to do it. Rosenberg here can hold this up. Don't lunge. That's fine. Good block. Green now. Davidson stayed forward. Thuo to Maxwell. Draper. Davidson to Green. He's not got the pace. He's not got the pace. Uh, I'm going to say run. Oh, sorry. Dribble less. Be more expressive is fine. That I'm going to turn off again. We'll just let them play where they want to. Yeah. Mason heading it to Wilcox. Now Davidson to Draper. Who was offside. But he did score. Oh. No, they've made four subs now. They've made four subs. How have they made four subs? I swear they've made four subs. I, I'm pretty certain they've made more than three subs. I don't think the concussion subs, are they in this game? Surely not. How, do, how does the game know? Tom, when you're editing this, just drop me a message and tell me how many subs they've made. Because I swear it's four. That's offside. That oh, doesn't matter anyway because he miscontrolled it. Whoa, don't immediately pass it back where the guy's standing. How stupid is that? Oh, go on. Go on, Green. You're on. You're on. You're on. Oh. He's not got the pace. His legs have gone. Oh, man. That's painful. That is actually painful. Can you play as a target forward? You actually can. Or as an advanced forward. So I've got you as a pressing forward at the moment. Maybe if I move you to like poacher. Move into channels but don't roam. That's fine. Uh, Draper. Demand more. That's what I could have done earlier. That would have changed the game. Wilcox going a long way forward there. Thankfully, Maxwell is there to cover. Oh, another Hatfield announcement. Let's see what this is. Just says 60. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'll find out after, I'm sure. And Howard's offside. Come on, boys. Nine minutes to go of this first period. And then just 15 more minutes before it goes to pens. I don't think I've done penalty shootouts on stream before. So this is new territory. I'm pretty certain I've not done it before. If I have, I've blocked it out of my mind, which means we must have lost. Draper with the foul. But again, I mean... Uh, quite far forward for them but it stopped them from getting the ball in immediately so we've got time to regroup and that's fine he's offside I panicked then again when the ball runs loose like that I genuinely panic thinking it's all gone wrong Madge's kick 
Draper's brought it under and he's been fouled. It's going to be a booking for Edwards, surely. Um, well, we got eight minutes, seven and a half minutes of the first half of extra time remaining. And then another 15. Oy, oy, oy. I'm just wondering how half our players are going to get through this now. Wilcox is getting knackered. Green's getting knackered. I think Wilcox will turn in from uh, deep line playmaker. What can we have where he's just static? Central midfielder, I suppose. Set to automatic. And then just tell him to hold position. Yeah. Green's also knackered, so we'll see what we can do with him. Let's just pause for a second, because I thought they were about to do something. Trequatista? No. Advanced playmaker? Maybe. Or just an attacking midfielder? Just an attacking midfielder. Um, move into channels. Actually, no. You're just going to do what you're doing here. Take more risks. Dribble less. Let's try that. Thuo's ball straight over Draper's head. Pretty sure his... No, his legs haven't gone, actually. He's still got stamina. So, God knows what he's doing. He has got it there, though, and he's headed it down to Thuo. And Draper was offside. Oh, Harry, what are you playing at? Morley, how have you not intercepted that? Davidson has got it back, though. To Thuo, to Draper. Davidson. Mm. Not ideal. Because Madge is just going to hoof it now. There it goes. Pretty certain Draper is offside if he did win that. Don't think he did, thankfully. forward offside good good five and a bit more minutes left of this first half of extra time don't know why i said it like a new zealander extra time more uh, mason with a clip to morley who goes down howard surely now he's fouled us so many times and he is booked Bit of a fiery game this one, isn't it? A lot of a lot of yellow cards and a lot of fouls. Is that okay, it's our throw. Thought Davidson was gonna challenge for it then, but he didn't. How many we've had seven. They've only had four, really. And a red card each. Wow. So we're gonna get fined, which isn't gonna help us with the money thing at all. I'm glad Brown was there then. I got a little bit nervous. Mason to Thuo, crossed it first time, and he just needs to get his foot round it more. Thuo's had a good game. I'm not against that at all. But my god, his crossing is atrocious at times. Maybe I should just be like really brutally honest about some of my players. Lee can't do anything right. Thuo can't cross a ball, particularly first time. But he can run, so I'll give him that. He's also, he's been pretty solid, to be fair. 6.4, I don't think, does him justice. That throw-in would have been good if Draper had actually bothered to do something with it. How have you gone from being, like, my best player of all the whole season to just being this absolute shit heap of a striker who doesn't win anything? Like, what is going on? He's happy. He's got purple face. Davidson's the only one who's not really happy out there. Oh, Wilcox, don't foul. Just don't foul. Mason headed it clear. Anyone chasing that? Nope. Well, Draper is, but not from uh, the advanced position. Two minutes left of normal uh, normal extra time. That makes sense, right? Here comes Draper. Pulls it back to Thuo, which is probably the right thing to do, to be fair. Now Brown. 
Brown's ball over the top. Draper with the shot. My God. Okay, he was offside. But that was actually something good. He actually did a good thing, guys. I can't believe it either. Mason's just whiffed that header completely. Madge with a low flat one. Evaded Draper. Edwards now. I've got a hair in my mouth. Yeah, where did that come from? <laughs> Thuo. Infield to Maxwell. Brown out wide again to Thuo, who has played well. He has played well. Brown again running towards his own goal, but Madge got there first. That kick was awful, but Maxwell's covering, thankfully. Wilcox now. Davidson is onside. Just rolled through to the keeper. I don't think Davidson scored for us yet. He might have done in preseason. I don't think he has competitively. What a time it would be now for him to get his first goal for us. Their strike has been quite wasteful. But he's also been really good at sharpshooter and he's always hit the target. I just want to, you know, not commentate his curse. I think Brown would have blocked that if it had been on target anyway, so. One minute of injury time here then. Maxwell with the flying crane kick volley there. At least he's, he's put it in a position where we could potentially win it back. Which is exactly what we've done, courtesy of Wilcox. And he's clipped it across, and Davidson nearly, nearly got in there. He forced the mistake from the defender. His, uh, his partner recovered well for him, though. That should be, yeah, time. All right, second half of extra time. Let's go. Half of our players are dead on their feet. Fortunately, we've got a player in every position on the pitch, I think, who's still okay. Like, defense, midfield, attack, I mean, of course. Mason, he's okay still. Brown is tired, but Mason's okay. And I might set Mason to cover just for that reason. I don't know. How good are you at covering? Uh, you're not bad, actually, so we'll do that. Maxwell is all right. Morley's not bad. Davidson's fine. Everyone else, though, is is pretty tired. Here's Thuo with the cross. Davidson running towards it. He, he seems quite narrow. Considering I've told him to move into the channels, he does seem quite narrow. Like, he's always running out wide to try and re receive the ball. Hmm. I don't like the way those balls are getting played over the top, either. But do I turn the offside trap off? Is that the reason? Because we're, we're running forward to try and play them offside. And they're breaking the offside trap. I just don't know. Draper was onside there. He could have gone for that. That's a poor touch from Thuo. Morley's down to a 6.3. I guess his booking hasn't helped. But man, this game's been brutal to some of our players today. Ellis with the ball forward. Brown with the takedown. Madge now to Morley. Thuo was on a run just now when we had the ball. We could have played it. That's a nice pass though to Davidson. Cross it. Alright, pull it back to Morley. Now get back on side. Maxwell with an up and under. Green forcing the keeper into a mistake there. Win that. That's it, Will. Thuo looking for Draper, who could again, I think, have got there. Thuo with a big kick forward, Draper not winning it. Birchall, Johnson, Birchall, Edwards. I don't know where our strikers are going right now. I know it's in case we win it back. They're in a good position. But they could also be helping us win it back right now. Brown well played. Thuo again. Draper I think was offside. Yeah. 
because then he's he's when we do win it back, he's too far up the pitch, so he's offside. Just, it's it's one of those it's just one of those guys I still don't understand how they seem to have made four subs I will check after this match as well I, I it could well have been three it genuinely felt like I could have sworn at, at like some point early in the second half they made two subs and then they've made two more since but maybe they just made one I'm sure a team made two subs and I've made all my three separately so I don't know what I saw Maxwell with the kick there. Davidson, I think, was offside. Yeah. Again, no, he's, he's running into the channel there, so I'll give him that. I think I will turn that off for him, though, if I haven't already. And just have him stay central. I think right now it's just getting bodies forward and keeping their defence on their toes. I thought we'd lost that then. Well played, Green. Thuo... Not so good. What can I yell at you now? Actually, let's do the whole team. Encourage. Throw in in a really good area. If we can just get the ball and get it in the box. A few smiley faces after that. Thuo to green. Corner. Who takes corners for us? It's a right footer, and it is Thuo. And that's a good ball. Davison said it. Oh, Ellis with the save. That was a good ball from Thuo. Good header as well, mind, but good ball. Mason dinks it over the top. Davidson he just can't win anything. He couldn't win the lottery if he was the only man playing. Which I know is a really bad expression when you think how many numbers there are, but you, you kind of get the drift, right? Draper's offside. Shot blocked anyway, but Draper's offside. Ugh. Come on, boys. Can we please avoid penalties? I really need a wee. I don't want this video to end. <laughs> Come on. Draper, all the way back to match, but I don't mind because it means we can regroup. Match immediately tries to kick it back towards Draper though and I'm not a huge fan of that especially when it was Davidson who ended up losing the header Mason with an up and under Edwards, they're just not losing them they're just not losing them can I turn that off maybe, go a little less direct I don't really know what else we can change we went really attacking really early Covering back to Thuo. That's a nice. That's a really nice ball into Davidson. He just doesn't have the pace. He has had a serious injury this season. He is a bit anxious. His confidence has been knocked. I don't know why that means he's got to stand ten yards offside, but yeah. Edwards again beating Draper. We're still aiming it towards Draper. But he's just not winning them. Turn that off. Turn that on. Morley's throw to Mason. Back to Morley. Back to Mason. You can ping him over the top. Sometimes. This is perfect timing. Every time I say a player can do something well, they mess it up. We've got six, yeah, six minutes left. And they're in behind, and it's a goal. Leon Akubayejo with the goal. They've played the ball that I've been begging my players to play since Green scored, basically. It's back to Ellis, pings one over. Brown loses his man. Madge comes out, probably showed too much. And in it goes. 
Yeah. Yeah, it was coming. I don't know what else to do now, to be honest. Maybe switch that to low. Try turning that on. I have no idea what it's going to do. Do that. And do that. So the annoying thing is now I want it to go to penalties because it means we're still in with a chance of winning it. Ah, uh, it's all gone Tom Tit again, hasn't it? Morley with a good first touch there. Tries to fire it into Draper. I'm just gonna have a go. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the match yelling at Draper. I think he's just been so poor. So poor. Can you have a scapegoat? I can see why Mourinho picks on certain players sometimes. It is quite cathartic to just blame an, an entire defeat on one person. Draper! Play the freaking pass! Oh my god. Blood pressure through the roof right now. Thuo, good kick forward. Draper actually does something. Crosses it. Davidson running towards it. Uh, keeper? No, defender. Did well there to get it away. My God, Draper. Are you trying to drive me into an early grave or something? Mm, that wasn't good either from Maxwell. Demand more. Entire team. They're just going to take their sweet-ass time now, aren't they? They've got three and a bit minutes to kill. You watch every second is going to tick by. It's going to frustrate the hell out of me. Who else can we play up front? Bloody hell, Madge. Okay, got an idea. This is like all hope or no hope right now. No, 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 not swap. Mason in there. Maxwell there. Wilcox there. Green there uh, and we're just going to go like that like that uh, no actually yeah we'll let them get creative that can turn off now I think that's fine I think everything here is fine as well so Maxwell I think we'll do that just so you're on your stronger foot um you kind of need to be... Actually, can you do... Yeah, you can do ball playing. And we'll tell you ease off. You. Actually, we'll just do... This. Again. We might have you as a box-to-box -box this time. You're going to be the ball winner. That's fine. Let's go with that. We'll have Mason specifically to try and win headers specifically which reminds me Draper you're going to be a poacher at this point I just don't want you playing target man anymore you are going to play as a target forward actually uh, pressing forward set to attack there we go just so they're not all doing the same thing win that freaking Wilcox could have gone and won that Porter now. They're going to waste time. I know it. I know it. You know it. We know it. Everyone knows it. Davidson, you've just fed right into their agenda there. He's not going to book you, but they're just going to take their time now. Two and a half minutes left, plus injury time, of course. This is, this is telling me a lot about the team. What needs to change for next season? The fact that we've had basically three cup finals this season and we've won none of them tells you all you need to know. I'm hoping Ruben can like put himself around a bit now. Out wide, that's it. No, he's offside. He's offside for God's sake. Pfft. 
take more risks. Draper, I don't even know what to do with you. I can't even look at you right now. Shoot more often. So bad. Minute left. They're playing just as long as they can without getting booked for it, basically. That's our throw. Here we go then. Last 30 seconds coming up. Morley with the big throw to Davidson, who's giving it away. Out of play for a throw. This is it. Now or never. Davidson switches it to Draper. Back to Maxwell. Forward to Wilcox. Now Fuo. Wilcox. Draper to Mason. Try to find Fuo. It's broken down. One minute of injury time. Madge's big kick forward. Green's not getting that, is he? Yikes. And it's into the channel. Oh, he's, yeah. He's done one on us there. That's going to be full time, guys. That's going to be it, surely. Ref's playing on. If he's adding their time on, fine. I don't think he is. And we're still going. Davidson to Morley. Plays it into the channel. That's where Davidson should be. Running in there. And now it's all over. Oh, it's so heartbreaking. Because we took the lead again. And now we've got to watch another team lift a trophy. Instead of us for God knows how many times now. Uh, we lost the final last year of the Premier Division Cup. We lost the final this year. We've lost the final of the Gladwish Challenge Trophy now. We didn't win the league. It's all starting to become a little bit consistently bad. Congrats to Biggles Wade. Yeah, you deserved it. But They were a good team. They played some good stuff. But I'm going to give Draper both barrels, I swear. We should have started Rudge. I said this against Sunderland as well. We should have started Rudge. Or even just start Davidson. He might have done well as a lone striker. Who knows? Draper, you were absolutely shocking. One of the worst performances. He's motivated by that as well. That's the annoying thing. He is motivated. And where's Cerulli? Don't think you're safe either. Yeah, screw you. I need to say another word then, but screw you. Not good. Not good at all. And I was going to show you guys some other stuff after the match and talk to you about restructuring for next season and stuff, but considering we've been going for just shy of two hours now. Uh, oh, we got 250 quid. There we go. We're how much in the hole? 70,933 in the hole, but at least we got 250 quid for coming runners up. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. Um,. We will rebuild, we will go again, we will go from stags to riches. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the match. I, I'll hit the like button, I might as well, it was a fun game to watch still. Um, also, if you're enjoying the series and if you enjoyed the video, all that good stuff. Drop some comments down below, tactics, signings, transfers. I know there is someone who keeps suggesting players to sign. Um, I did have a brief look and I couldn't find any of them, unfortunately. So, looks like that's a little bit of a non-starter, sadly. But I will keep looking. If you've got any suggestions, feel free to suggest them. We are... This is 2027 now. So, this is season... I feel like this is season 7 we're going into, but it might actually be season 6. No, this is season 7. I'm pretty sure this is season 7 we're going into now. Um, so, just bear that in mind when you're suggesting players to sign. Otherwise, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Enjoy the rest of your weeks. Enjoy the rest of your evenings. And until next time, I will see you soon.